Hey everybody and welcome to episode 177 of Unboxing Wednesdays for comics arriving in stores on Wednesday, March 19th, 2014. Ricky, we have a busy week ahead of us, my friend. Crazy. We're going to be at Humber College, uh, which is a uh, the biggest college, I think, in the Toronto area. I don't know if that's fact, but we're just going to go ahead and state that right now for the record. Biggest in the world. Yeah, biggest in the world. <laughs> Uh, we're going to be at both of their main campuses on Wednesday and Thursday this week, uh, hawking our wares. Uh, there's going to be lots of creators that are going to be there, local talent, selling uh, their stuff as well, and it's going to be a lot of fun. H. John Benjamin from Archer is going to be there. From Archer, Bob's Burgers, H. John Benjamin has a van. So we've got all that going on, and then this weekend, Ricky, it's been proclaimed by the world government, the NWO, I think, the New World Order, has proclaimed this Saturday, Hellboy Day. We're so like Hulk Hogan, he like came yeah. out like, <laughs> Yeah, He's you like, know, throw it up like the wolf pack. Listen to me, brother. Symbols. <laughs> this weekend. He's got the feather boa. <laughs> this weekend, brother. <laughs> Hellboy Day. Alright. Uh, yeah, it's, inter it's Hellboy Day at comic shops all over. Uh, North America and the world, as ordained by the. Is this like order. a random day, or is this when it actually came out, like the first issue? I don't know. I don't know. It's random. I don't know. Day. It's gonna be all kinds of great Hellboy giveaways up for grabs. We've got Hellboy uh, wall clings, uh, Hellboy mini prints, the twentieth uh, anniversary sampler. That's a free comic book that's gonna be available, and uh, the twenty years of Hellboy mini poster. Uh, so those will all be available at our Sidekick store this Saturday. And on top of all that, we've got the uh, insanely talented artistic group from A Hat that's going to be at the store. They're going to be sketching uh, Hellboy-related stuff all day and non-Hellboy-related stuff. Oh, I mean, you know, I'm gonna they're, keep them busy the they're whole flexible. Day. Ricky's just going to have them churning out sketches for himself all day, I'm sure. And then at the end of the day, he'll have like a 10-page comic. Yeah. And he'll be like, oh, here's a comic. And they'll be like, pay up. And I'll be like, ooh, uh, and I run. <laughs> so that's going to be awesome. And make sure you check out uh, From a Hat's Facebook page. I'll put the link uh, for that page down in the description below uh, to check out their awesome art. They're always posting uh, new art every week. They the usually best. do a theme week, yeah. you know. And I've, I've heard through the grapevine that their theme this week is going to be Hellboy. So <laughs> go figure. All right, Ricky, let's go ahead and open up some boxes. And do it uh, Hulk Hogan style. Bwam, 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 bwam. All right, first up today is this awesome Gypsy Danger, uh, like seven foot tall action figure. I'm uh, overestimating here. This was a special uh, order for one of our customers. Based on the hit CW show Arrow, we've got Deathstroke and Arrow the two pack. We've got some Two-Face Arkham City action figures. Next up, we've got the newest in Marvel uh, action figures. This is Marvel Infinite series. Here's Captain America and Wasp. The Grim Reaper and Hyperion. Iron Man and Hulk. Next on to the collected editions, first up we have Masters of the Universe Origins of Eternia. This is volume two. If you want to read up on one of the major players in the upcoming Captain America movie, you want to pick up this trade. It's Avengers Falcon. Reprinting one of the epic storylines from DC's early 2000s period, we have Batman Bruce Wayne Murderer, Smallville Season 4, new and soft cover Green Lantern Rise of the Third Army, Young Avengers Volume 3, Mighty Avengers Volume 1, Green Arrow Volume 4 in soft cover. Justice League Beyond, Neil Gaiman's Death. This uh, reprints some of the uh, most famous miniseries and stories uh, that Death was involved in. Transformers Beast Hunters Prime Volume 2, Trinity of Sin Pandora Volume 1, Wolverine, Japan's Most Wanted in hardcover, and a ton of people have been waiting for this one. It's Saga Volume 3. Got this awesome Adventure Time uh, poster collection. Features a bunch of, oh, 20 removable Adventure Time posters. And then finally we have William Shakespeare's The Empire Striketh Back. This is the sequel to uh, the New Hope uh, Shakespeare version that was published a while back. And uh, I thought I would do uh, an excerpt from this, use some of my Shakespearean training, 
uh, to read you a crucial part of the story. Spoilers ahead for those who haven't either read the book or seen the movies. We begin with Darth Vader and Luke Skywalker in their climactic battle in Bespin, the Cloud City. You have to hold your, your hand out like this when you're doing Shakespearean dialogue. Obi-Wan hath never told thee of what happened to thy father, Luke. Oh, he hath spoken much, and he hath told me of the truth, that thou didst slay him, aye, and without cause or mercy, murderer most vile and wretched. No, I am thy father. Nay, tis not true. It is impossible. Pray, search thy feelings, Luke. Thou knowest it is true. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, on to the smaller press books, we've got G.I. Joe number 14 from IDW. Samurai Jack number 5 has these two covers. The Strain number 9. Shadow Man number 16. Exo Manowar number 23. A Voice in the Dark number 5. Star Wars number 4. Ninja Turtles Utrom Empire number 3. Star Wars Dawn of the Jedi Force War number 5. Grim number 11. Magic the Gathering Theros with a duress card. Transformers Regeneration number 100. Bringing the series to a close. This is, as the top says, number 100 in a four issue limited series. That's a take on the original title at the uh, top of Transformers number one. This is cover A. Here's cover B, which is a uh, reimagining of the cover for issue number one. And here's the special subscription variant. And then we have the retailer incentive variant. Transformers Robots in the Skies number 27 has two covers, plus this variant. Here's two covers for God is Dead number nine. Based on the popular video game, we have The Witcher, issue number one of five. Here's Zero, issue number six. Rocket Girl, number four. American Vampire, second cycle, issue number one. The WWE Superstars comic, this is issue number four, uh, three of four. Letter 44, number five. Sovereign, number one, from Image Comics. From Dark Horse, we have Skyman, issue three. Unwritten Apocalypse, number three. Ghosted, number 8. The Fuse, issue 2. Loki, Ragnarok and Roll, issue 2 of 4. Undertow, number 2. The Max, Maximize, number 3. Ten Grand, number 8. Sex Criminals, issue number 5. Lazarus, number 7. Clockwork Angels, issue number 1 of 6. Co-written by one of the members of Rush, Neil Peart. Basically the best uh, drummer on the face of the earth. My Little Pony Friendship is Magic number 17 has these two covers plus this Katie Cook variant and we have the start of a new season with the uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer comics this is season 10 issue number one here are the two covers for that book as well as this variant cover. Okay moving on to DC Comics we have Scribble Knots Unmasked issue number three Batman Beyond Universe issue eight Batman 66 issue nine Birds of Prey, number 29. Suicide Squad, number 29. Red Hood and the Outlaws, number 29. Green Lantern, New Guardians, number 29. Animal Man, number 29. This is the final issue. Supergirl, number 29. Trinity of Sin, Pandora, number 9. Batman and Aquaman, number 29. The Hunt for Robin? What's going on there? Here's the Batman, Aquaman, Robot Chicken variant. Here's Wonder Woman number 29, and the Wonder Woman 29 Robot Chicken variant. Harley Quinn issue 4, and the Harley Quinn issue 4 variant. We also have a Batman number 29 blank cover that was supposed to come in last week. Then we have Superman Unchained issue number 6. Superman Unchained blank cover, the Modern Age variant. The Superman Reborn variant. The New 52 variant. The Bronze Age Superman variant. The Silver Age variant by Amanda Connor. And this is awesome. It's the uh, Golden Age variant by Michael Cho. Michael Cho is a Toronto based uh, artist who is amazing. I always try to buy a print or two off him at every convention I go to because his art style is fantastic. 
Moving on to Marvel, we've got a second printing of Loki, Agent of Asgard, issue number one, and a second printing of Miss Marvel, issue number one. Seekers of the Weird, issue number three, and we've got Thor, God of Thunder, issue number 20. Here's Uncanny X-Men, issue number 19 point now. Here is the sexy J. Scott Campbell variant for that book. New Avengers, number 15. Superior Foes of Spider-Man, issue number 10. Avengers World, number 4. Dexter Down Under number two. No, I won't do the uh, Australian accent this time. Caught a little flack for it last time. Understandably, because I did it horribly wrong and uh, very stereotypically uh, inaccurate. Nova, issue number 15. Marvel Knights Hulk number four of four. Winter Soldier, issue number two. Thunderbolts 23. All New Invaders number three. X-Men number 12. Wolverine and the X-Men, issue number two. Miss Marvel, issue number two. Daredevil gets a relaunched issue number one today. Here's the cool Scotty Young variant. And the Chris Somney animal variant. Here is the Superior Spider-Man annual issue number two. I want to remind everybody, Amazing Spider-Man uh, issue number one and Superior Spider-Man issue number 31. Collector's packs are available now at our... Uh, web store. It's at store.stadiumcomics.com. You definitely want to check out the collector's packs there if you're interested in grabbing any of the variants for those two books. We've got the return of uh, Peter Parker in Superior Spider-Man 31 and the return, of course, of Amazing Spider-Man in the all-new Amazing Spider-Man number one. Both of those books coming out in April. You want to check out uh, those orders ASAP. And then finally today we have Iron Man issue number one. Marvel is making a pretty big deal out of the release of this book uh, and to go along with purchases of this book today in, in store there's uh, some special things that you can get. Uh, first, the regular cover. The Iron Cat animal variant cover. How awesome is that? The Deadpool wearing the rings of the Mandarin on his feet. I think they're his feet. Uh, you know, they've got some nail polish on them and stuff, but there you have it. That's a variant. Here is the black and white sketch variant. There's also the Scotty Young uh, limited mini lithographs available with the purchase of Iron Man. As well as these awesome Iron Man party masks. Come on, who doesn't want an Iron Man party mask? Prize time, that's right, it's the best part of your week. It's where we give out prizes. Uh, last week we were giving out a copy of Secret Avengers. And we asked you, uh, what what kind of mechanized organism designed only for blank would you be? We got tons of hilarious answers. A lot of them I loved. Uh, Mr. Shazeb Nazir said, uh, Mo Donkey Kong, mechanized organism designed only for neutralizing killer elves that yearn to kidnap omnipotent Norse gods. Wow, that's uh, interesting, interesting. Thor, you better watch out for Mo Donkey Kong. Uh, Mr. Al the Stal, 87, said uh, he'd be a mechanized organism designed only for studying mechanized organism designed only for dismantling mechanized organisms designed for detaining mechanized organisms designed for only washing mechanized organisms designed only for love. It's the, the amount of layers here, the amount of Modocs you have going on is just phenomenal. It's it can't be beat, really. Uh, really bad username said, I would be a mechanized organism designed only for eating bacon. Uh, just walking up to people and when they think I'm going to hurt them, uh, I would shove bacon in my mouth. Congratulations, Mr. Uh, less Harmful Modoc. You win my vote for best nonviolent Modoc. But the winner goes to Joker's Midnight Show, who said, Mo Duck. Mechanized organism designed for underwater caca kerfuffles. <laughs> you can tell that he came up with Mo Duck first, and then he's like, dang, how, what is Mo Duck? What does that stand for? And he came up with a fantastic reason. Uh, caca kerfuffles is now going to be my everything. Everything that I do will now relate to caca kerfuffles. See you later. I'm going to do some caca kerfuffles. This week we're giving out a copy of Iron Man 23.1, the beginning of the Rings of the Mandarin story. Ooh. All right, so the Mandarin has powerful rings, right? 
If you had a powerful accessory, what would it be? Personally, my powerful accessory would probably be um, some type of hat. And then when I tip it, gentlemanly like, um, uh, I gain instant friends with people, and I seem smarter. Um, let's let's go with that. Maybe I can grow a longer beard. Who knows? So let us know in the comments uh, what your powerful accessory would be, and what would it do. And the best comment will win a copy of Iron Man 23.1. All right, everybody, that is it for this week. Thank you once again for watching. Please remember to check out all the other awesome shows on our channel, uh, such as previous reviews, a new one of which is coming this week. I have it on good authority. Uh, and also check out our friend Louis' recap podcast where he goes over the details of all the comics to get you up to date and uh, caught up in everything that's going on. Remember to check out our friends from a hat Facebook page. And uh, if you want to connect with us, you can use any of the websites you see listed here on the screen. <laughs> I have to use my hands a lot more because people can't see my... <laughs> yeah. No. It's like when you're a Power Ranger, right? Mm, it's like Kabuki <laughs> Fia. Yeah. You gotta... So thanks for watching. Enjoy your comics this week and we'll see you all next time for episode 178 of Unboxing Wednesdays.